Hello, hello. Hi, everybody! What's happening, everybody? For those who don't know, I'm Jay Washington from Collider Video, the After Buzz All that. I'm going to be your moderator for this panel. And you already know we have four amazing power ranks. So first and foremost, round of applause for Catherine Sullivan, <laughs> Jason Vaughn, Johnny Young Bosch, and the King Marines. That's how we should start this set. You guys are awesome. Thank you, guys. There's such an echo, echo in here. There is. Okay, I can live with it. So how are you guys enjoying Salt Lake City? <laughs> it's oh, been wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Really well taken care of. Yeah. Wait, and I got to play with puppies. I mean... Okay, so playing with puppies they always. They have puppies in the green room. room. <laughs> they, for me, personally. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't love puppies? Have you all tried this thing they have called fry sauce out here? <laughs> fry sauce. Fry sauce. What's fry sauce? Fried sauce? It seems like everybody knows what this is. So, so somebody, so let me tell you, somebody gave it to me, and I was like, this is what heaven tastes like. Is it like Chick-fil-A sauce, that kind of thing? It's like better than Chick-fil-A sauce, though. Like, right. okay. like, I wish I could bottle it and take it back is to Los Angeles. Wait, where do you get fry sauce? Somebody just, somebody Everywhere! Just... <laughs> <laughs> is it spicy? No. Not really? sweet. So when we go somewhere to eat, we can ask for fry sauce? Yeah! See? All right, I'm going to try that. Tonight. Does it go with everything? Like if I got a steak? Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're going to start taking gourmet recommendations up here in a minute. Uh, so where should they go get a steak with fry sauce? All right. <laughs> Everybody always asks you guys, how does it feel to be a Power Ranger? But I want to ask you a more important question. How does it feel to be part of most people's life's life growing up for the past 20 something years. That's, that, it's just cool. It's really cool to be able to come to a con and then to experience through the, the people that grew up on the show and to see, cause like we, our experience is much different cause it's like, we're there, we see us making the show and then you guys grew up with the actual show complete. So it's kind of really cool to be a part of the legacy of Power Rangers and then to be able to see it through your eyes when, when we meet you. Jason? Yeah, I think for me, it's, uh, you know, I followed in the footsteps of these guys. They helped build the legacy that, that we eventually were part of. So, um, like he said, when you, you're filming it, you're kind of like, you're just filming every day. You yeah. don't really get a chance to, to, to be a part of the outside world. It's only after we were done that we came to these conventions and got to meet people. I had no idea. When we were done, the, the impact that we made on people's lives, um, and it's just so special to hear all the individual stories. And that's what I've loved most about it is, is meeting everybody and seeing how we made a great impact. Thank you. I I would just ditto what uh, Font was saying. I when I was on what about the me? show, what about what not I said? what Johnny was saying. Just ditto what <laughs> Font was saying. Goodness, she likes I'm gonna me get better. you some fry sauce, Johnny. She likes me better. Um, <laughs> It's, um, it's been, when we were on the show, I, I would have never thought that 26 years later that people would remember my character. That they would actually come to my table and tell me what I did in episode 395. Tell me about, um... And you probably don't remember what you did in episode 395. <laughs> right. No, it's been, it's been full, it's, it's come full circle in a sense because we're such a huge family, Power Ranger family, that, you know, we didn't work with Jason Font but I just, he's like my brother. I've got to know him through, through, um, through conventions and it's been just a blessing to be able to meet the fans who come to your table and tell you that Power Rangers inspired them to get into martial arts, that it changed their life, that it helped them with their bullying. It's, it's, I did not know that when I was on the show and I, I truly appreciate it today. Catherine? Yeah, we, we, you know, you, we knew that you were enjoying it and it was fun to watch, but to, to be a part of something that's lasted 26 years is, is pretty special. And um, I remember in 2009, I received an email from someone asking me to, to go to Anime Expo. And I said, what's an, what's an anime and what's an expo? I don't know what either of those are. <laughs> and um, I showed up, Nikia went a day before me and I showed up and just, I couldn't believe that people still remembered us, they said, is it even on the air anymore? And it was, and it still is, and it's it's really crazy. I know I found myself at certain points going down YouTube rabbit holes, uh, uh, watching every morph in a certain season, 
Yes. I don't know why I did it. I just, it's a YouTube rabbit hole. You just start, you just like, next thing I know, I'm like, I'm 37 minutes in. It was like, I was supposed to be at work. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of them. There's a, a lot, lot of them. them. It's a lot and of them. And, you know, thank you to you guys because when we were told to morph for the first time, I made a mess of it. And thank you to you guys for showing us how to morph because I forgot every single one of them. <laughs> So thank you to YouTube and you for watching How to Morph. Yeah, thank, I just didn't subscribe. Goodness. I didn't watch the video. <laughs> I didn't click the thumbs up because like it's connected to my Twitter and I didn't need everybody like, why does Jay just watch a Power Rangers video? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the weirdest retweet I get. <laughs> and you, you both brought up some interest about these conventions. What is it about them that makes you sure, that makes you want to be like, I have to go? Because you all could just say, no, I don't want to do a convention. But you all make sure you're at numerous conventions throughout the year. It's the fans. I mean, we, we absolutely love interacting with our fans. And, um, and we have a really special fandom. Our fans are so loyal and, um, and wonderful. And it's, it's so fun. It really is so fun for us to travel around and, and meet all of you guys. We love it. Fine, you see. I only came for the fry sauce. <laughs> we need a shirt for you. I came for the fry sauce. Uh, if you can make Nakia a shirt that says, I only came for the fry sauce. <laughs> I haven't even had any yet, but now I, I really want some. One of the things I wanted to talk to some of you all about, because you've done that, and it does not include you, because we'll get the time for us, you all did multiple seasons and multiple versions of the Rangers. Was it like different going into each one? Like, you started out as a Mighty Morphin Power Ranger, and you actually started out as a bad guy, and everybody was like, I don't like her. <laughs> but you started off, and then you went to Zeo, and then you went to Turbo as the you, and they brought you back, Johnny, just recently on the episode. How does it feel going from season to season? It's just like, oh, well, it's just going to work again. Well, yeah. I mean, it's like you're, cha you're just changing your clothes, yeah. you know? <laughs> it's like, oh, now I'm green. Uh, but it was, it's usually like when, you, when you're off the show and then come back, that's, that's different, you know? You looked good in green. That was a good color for you. I always thought I looked pale. <laughs> yes. Made you look pasty? Yeah, I don't know. I'm in green, I look sick. Ugh. And part of it was like, there's, well, I don't want to talk really bad about somebody, but there was one makeup lady who didn't stick around that long that I always got, and she wasn't really a makeup lady. Right. <laughs> she was she was a PA that got pulled right. into <laughs> I look This is all like, behind the scenes stuff that none of y'all have had. I look like a zombie and a few. Yeah, we, we didn't feel like we would we would change it looked like that to you guys, but we just rolled into another suit. Nikki is the same for you? Yes, I just rolled into it with the fry sauce. <laughs> exactly. You was just was fry sauce. Roll, hit the ground and just rolled into a suit. I was like rolling <laughs> into it. I went from the zero and I rolled into turbo. Is we shot so many episodes at the, like, the same time. It was like yeah. we three would, episodes a week or something. Yeah, three three episodes in ten days. So, so oh my God. Really, more of a blur for yeah. us. Yeah. Jesus they Christ. would just tell us to go change clothes and now we're on episode 213. We just finished 210 and we didn't know what was happening. To be perfectly honest, we didn't know what was yeah. We wouldn't know what the episode was until we actually saw it. So. Oh wow! Yeah, well, I, I did. Camera. I read the script. We read. You didn't get the script. You got sides in the morning. <laughs> Jason, I, I read the sides. <laughs> no, they would have the camera, and you would film your scene in the juice bar, and then they'd say, "Okay, Kat, Kia, go change. We're going to do episode, you know, 500." And we'd come back, and you know, and we we didn't know what. We'd, okay, just do it. Just say your lines. <laughs> So, so you all would jigsaw puzzle, puzzle film and just yes. doing all these different pieces until they can... they want to get everything with that camera angle and then they turn around and do everything the other way. Yeah. So yeah, so we that's kind of how we film. Jason, you came in on a whole new crew. How did it feel coming into this legacy and also coming in with the responsibility of being a red one? You know, it's funny, I... Because it's going to be any other color. You, play, you get the Red Ranger, you're the leader of the group. So they're like, yo, you better be good at this acting thing. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I, I, I actually read for, some of you have maybe heard this, but I, I came and read for um, Galaxy for the Red Ranger role. Didn't get it. The next year, Lightspeed happened. They brought me back again. Went through the audition process. Didn't get it. And by the third time, I'm like, man, they either really like me or someone just feels bad for me. <laughs> so they, they brought me back a third time. And, and I think finally it, the stars kind of aligned. But um, I was excited. I mean, I, I knew all about 
the obviously the franchise. I was very aware of it. Um, I was already in college when it when it first came out, but uh, I was excited. I mean, just to be a part of something like that. I did not realize that it would become this big. Not because yeah, you kept the suit. Because I've seen you do sketches on Instagram with a couple friends of mine, and you still have the suit. Yeah, I, it was it was remade for me, but but sometimes in international shows we'll we'll do photo ops in the suit. So I got it for that. Oh, okay. I was like, did they just say, look, man, this was your third time. We know we probably <laughs> No, man, keep this. Did you see him in the yellow like Zio suit? Did you see Font in the yellow Zio suit? Uh, yes. No. Yeah, he yes. and I did a little in New Mexico. We switched suits. If you look we... back at our Instagram, you can go back and... <laughs> Like it was fun. The first I'm trying day. to be professional and not pull out my phone and go looking for this right now. <laughs> <laughs> just want to be like, go on our Instagram two months ago. It was pretty cool. We did we did some fun little um, stuff on there where we we flip flop suits and kind of surprised the fans as you panned up and we had a great time doing that at the end of a convention. That was cute. Johnny, you look like you would not do that. I want oh, to see I you. would totally wear pink. <laughs> see, 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 that's what I'm talking wear about. Pink, right Johnny. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say, like, you, we're seeing around, we look around, you see different Power Rangers costumes. I love the hybrid Lord Zed going skiing Red Ranger. <laughs> That's great. Like, I, I know it's supposed to be the visor, but I was like, he got a pair of skis in the back. Uh, what has been some of the weirdest iterations of the costumes you guys have seen? I, my favorite cosplay ever was at um, Ranger Stop and Pop. Nakia has a convention now, by the way. And um, it was a Prince Power Ranger. How cool is that? He was the purple rain ranger. That's what he called himself. He was a prince? Prince. So he had the prince, you know, purple rain. He had the purple rain outfit. He even had the, the prince symbol instead of the morphing, you know. It, it's cool. I'm not saying it's not. I'm just sitting there picturing. I just want to know was there a half a Jerry curl sticking out he the did. helmet. He had the Jerry he curl out. He out did. Of yes. Funny. He did. It was very clever. That was my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I saw someone cosplay the, um, I think it was at Palomorphicon, the, the command center, and his, oh, his head was in a tube and he was Zordon, and then he was holding, I don't know how he built it, but he was holding center. it and they were all rangers around him and, and he was in the set, it was really cool. It was, it was really, cool. yeah, that one was cool. Johnny, you seen any? I was actually going to say that, but she took it. Oh. <laughs> you look so sad. So I was say that. <laughs> God, I've seen so many. I, it's like one of those where you say, tell me a good joke, and you forget the joke at that very moment. But we've, we've seen a lot of great outfits. And that's part of the fun, right? I mean, everyone finding their, their own reiteration of, of what it is. And, yeah. and we notice. We notice. We see it. And, then, and we have a lot of fun with that as well. I, I did see you one time, though, where I saw off in the distance. I was like, oh. It's like a dragon zord and, and a megazord. Like the... like. Characters like walking and cosplay. I was like, that looks amazing. And as it got closer and closer, it still looked amazing. But I, I realized that it was all just cardboard and duct tape. And I was like, that? How did you? How did you do that? <laughs> Pretty amazing what people can do, though. <laughs> Before I say what I'm gonna say next, if you guys have questions for the panel, please start lining up. You guys, okay? We got them. We're gonna start taking some questions in a second. But I. I you guys are doing a lot of different things outside of Power Rangers. What is something you guys may have coming up that you want to tell people about? I'll start with you, Kathy. Okay, okay. Um, I just wrote a children's book called The Boy with the Heart on His Sleeve. Nice. And I have two others that are being illustrated right now, so that's kind of been my focus for the past So now you're years. an author. That's yeah. dope. Yes. Um, I got a few projects that are coming up. There's one that uh, called Honeymoon in Paradise, which should be on Lifetime towards the holidays this year. Honeymoon in Paradise. Uh, Beast Out of the Water just came out on Amazon Prime, so you can rent that. Actually, Steve Cardenas is in that as well. Who is actually here, not here. He's outside. He's out there. Um, I get to play a band. They wouldn't let him in. Yeah. <laughs> we got one Red Ranger already. We don't need two. Yeah, we have <laughs> And then uh, there was a pilot that we filmed in Canada called ELE for Extermination Level Event. Hopefully that gets sold to Netflix, but um, that's another thing we're proud of that, that it has not surfaced yet, but was filmed. So there's three things coming out. John? Well, I have a handful of voiceover stuff um, but that, you know, I've signed to NDAs I can't talk yeah, about. Absolutely. The only one I can talk about is, uh, is Promare, which is a, a trigger project, a film. There's a limited theatrical release uh, September 17th and 18th, I believe. Um, so there's that. And uh, Jason Frank and I are shooting a film in January and oh. hopefully going to be... Jason Frank was Tommy. Woo-hoo! 
voiceover projects and there's a couple of um, things that I've produced that I'm trying to to get sold as well so yeah I've like most of the actors have done things after Power Rangers but it's funny that it always comes and back that's to why Power I brought it up. Rangers and that was the reason why I brought it up because again you all you guys are part of people's lives you guys are part of the lexicon of pop culture but you are still actors you're still working talent and people need to know that you guys are doing other things as well. So I wanted to make sure people knew about that. It wasn't just like, so are you gonna be appearing on a 50 year reunion show? Like something like that, you know? So let's start taking questions from the audience. How's it going, Lord Red Zed? Lord Red Zed. What's, your, what's your name and what's your question? Oh, I, my name is Ben, I think, come right here. Um, my question is, what was it like working with Bulk and Skull, these two guys that you see on my phone? And what was it like working with Ivan Ears in the Power Rangers movie, the purple guy, Paul Freeman, I think? Yes. To tell us about your experiences with Bulk and Skull, because they've been on there a long time in Ivan oh. Ears. Well, you worked with Bulk and Skull. Oh, okay, so, well, oh, yeah, so Ivan Ears, yeah, Paul Freeman, a great actor. Um, was it uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, where the fly ran into his mouth and he just kept on acting? Um, while you guys were filming the movie? No, but I was hoping. Oh. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, the whole time, like, please let a fly land in his mouth and him just keep on acting. I just want to see it live. Wait, this happened in Raiders? Yeah, I believe it was Raiders where there's a fly. I was like, oh, he just kept acting. He ate it. He ate a fly. I mean, that is... Well, we just it, figured out what he was for us He just, he just kept on acting. He could have done that, but he made it in character. No, he was, but he was like, I don't know. That, it made him scarier, actually. Yeah? Yeah. I'm going to have to watch that scene. Everybody about to start looking for a scene, like, I want to see All right, we'll go look it scene. up on YouTube. Yes. Go down that rabbit hole. Right. And Bulk and Skull are amazing. They're, they're brilliant. They're, they're yeah, brilliant, they're funny, very loud, very, <laughs> like, very they, loud. they carry their characters beyond. Yeah, if you see con. them at a, con, at a con, they are exactly those characters. There's a con in, in called Lexington Comic Con and they, every year when they're there, they get a couch and they call it the Couch of Doom and they destroy it. So every time someone gets a photo op, they have to do something to the couch and by the end it's yeah, it's they just destroy a sofa it's genius. for the yeah. weekend. That sounds terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody got to do something to this couch. Yes, they do, and it gets it gets brutal. <laughs> um, White Ranger. Uh, Jason no. Frank. Hey, you made it. Now you got to say, what does he say? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? back. What's your name? What's your question? And uh, well, actually, I've already met you guys. Uh, I did the photo op with you guys, and I got your I got you guys' signatures on on my Tommy head. But uh, uh, and I've already asked Catherine this, and it, you can answer this for the others as well. But my question to all of you guys is, um, what was your favorite like character arc in all of your uh, in all your characters? What was your favorite character arc? in all of your characters. And that is something you guys have to think yeah, I, can, I, can, I don't know if I really Especially have an with, arc. Like, the power I think I was series. just the uh, the shy guy. I called myself the background ranger. We, we both, we called ourselves the background ranger. Because uh, here, here's, here's me <laughs> in every scene in the command center. I did, but even looking at the viewing globe, I was like this. <laughs> Again, like, oh, people, are always gonna, behind someone. people are gonna go down these YouTube rabbit holes and just be like, let me see where Adam is standing every <laughs> single. Oh my God, he really there's, is there's a, I, I posted this thing, and you can you find it. I posted it on Instagram, but there's a shot of, I think it's the Valentine episode, and it's like, 
Aunt Tommy and Kimberly, right? And they, he, they're playing, they're goofing off, like, hee hee hee, there's a flower, and they're like laughing and giggling. And I, I kid you not, you should look at it, look, find it. And uh, there I am, just like this. <laughs> Why you gotta have the look I, I wasn't acting, I was just, I was just done. So, what, did that face you just made says, y'all found happiness and I'm just back here. <laughs> no, it, it, that, and I, you have to dig through my Instagram, but you'll find it. And I just kind of, I zoom into my face. <laughs> So you can see my expression a bit better, but it's just, there's no, there's no life there. <laughs> I'm just dead inside. What's your name and what's your question? My name is Spencer. Hey Spencer. Okay. Um, so all of you have been coming to cons for who knows how long now. Um, but And it's obvious with your Instagrams and everything that you're still really close with the rest of the Power Ranger family, even when you haven't starred together. Um, what do you think it is about the Power Ranger franchise that keeps you all coming back and coming to Comic Cons and connecting with each other when you wouldn't know each other otherwise? What is it about you all being in the Power Rangers franchise that keeps you guys connected, basically? We're a family. I, w I would say that. And, and everybody is so just personable and likable and for the most part. Yeah, there's like Most of us. That's how you know it's real. I had to go down like, it's like maybe one or two black sheep. Yes, uh, maybe maybe one or two black sheep. Most of us, for the most yeah, part. We're all, we get along, and it's yeah. I don't know. It's I, I mean it's it's really I mean it's it's humbling to be a part of this legacy, really. And then to meet other people that are a part of the franchise, it's like it is. It's like adding to the family. You know. Have you guys had a family barbecue yet? That's what I'm asking. We have we have get-togethers. It's, it's weird because we, uh, this group is, is, we're all over the country. Next week I'm in Nashville, you're wherever, and so it's hard to get us together because I remember we are like, well, it's my birthday, it's heaven, and like 90% of, oh man, I'm sorry, Jay, I'm going. And everyone's always gone places, so it's a hard group to get together. When we get, we when there's a, it's not often that there's this many of us together in one spot, so when we do, we, we get like, oh, we get so excited. We get family dinners we get here. dinners, and, and, and yes. Oh, that's so cute. It's so sweet. Who brings the pies? I ate them. <laughs> I, ate, I ate myself. Ruth Christed last, last night. Ruth Christed last night. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> How you doing? What's your name? What's your question? Well, my name is Chase, and I'm from Idaho Falls. And yes, I have met Johnny and Letitia in the past here at Comic Con. At Derek Wen's on Fortune Road, not seeing what. They probably won't remember me though. But. With the acquisition of Power Rangers by Hasbro, and this is first to Jason Fott and then to the rest of you, with the fact that in recent seasons, um, the Time Force Rangers have made an appearance, is it possible there will be a cross-up in the future, in any season, featuring swords from the past but to the present, using Time Force. So, basically, with the acquisition of Power Rangers by Hasbro, and the Rangers now, especially the Time Force Rangers being shown in this current season, will we possibly see the Time Force Megazord and all the other ones? Uh, that was quite accurate. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you said the swords, I thought it was just talking about the Time Force. No, what I said was, would it be possible using Time Force technology to bring in Zords together. Ah, bringing in all Zords. Okay, cool. From other seasons. From other seasons. A full and a present season. Gotcha. Sorry about well, that. Well, the, the short answer is yes, because Johnny told me to say that. <laughs> but secondly, I think yeah, I think that's been kind of a, the, the blessing of time forces with the time travel. It, it allows us the potential to come back in any, you know, future upcoming stuff, um, which I think is pretty cool. I, I like, you know, I I've, I've been telling them that. The fans love all the originals, so to have any kind of, of uh, you know, to have these reunion episodes where we come back, I think the fans love it, and, I, and I, I know they recognize that now, and they're doing it more, and hopefully they continue to do it. I've been saying they knew uh, an all-female return, like they did the Red Ranger, I think yeah, yeah. pretty cool. With yeah, that sauce. would be so dope to see <laughs> all the women rangers just whooping on somebody. <laughs> Like, I don't care who it is, just whoop somebody. Just, just. It's you. That's something I'm not here for. Uh, 
That's something we're gonna pump the brakes on. We're not gonna even put that in the universe. Could be like, fun though. Could be fun for you. Uh, it would not be fun with them jumping me. Uh, did you think this is a gang initiation? Uh, <laughs> how you doing? What's your name and what's your question? Hi, I'm Jeremy. Uh, now that we've had about 27 seasons of Power Rangers, is there any um, season you weren't a part of that you would have liked to be, either as a different ranger or just be in that season? Mystic Time Force. Force. Really. Time Force. I love this season. I've watched it because of uh, brother Aww. here and uh, Aaron. Yes, we're very close to that, that this group. Child. But this, this show was, you had good stories and they actually got to act. <laughs> I, uh, when I was asked to come back for Overdrive, I was curious, because it had been a long time, like almost 13 years, and I was like, well, I should see what they've been up to, and I caught a few, like, clips on YouTube from Time Force, and yeah, they had, like, scenes where they were acting, it wasn't, like, cheesy, like, like our stuff, and I was like, oh, this is going to be awesome, I like, get to do something different, that might be kind of fun. Time Force was like the first one that you were like, oh my god, this is real. Like, right. yeah. there's emotion here, like, this is real, like, this is a story. But as soon as I got to New Zealand, it was not that way. <laughs> oh. No. no acting for you. No acting. You stand Just standing in the background. You stand there and look serious. They actually got, they let me stand in the front a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> good for you. I'm the key. <laughs> yeah, so I had no choice but to act. Um, I, I love Time Force as well. Um, Johnny told me to say that. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. But you were asking for arcs, and I was like, that would probably be the season that had arcs and had, you know, uh, character development and things like that. That would have been a, um, really great to be a part of. Yeah. You need two t shirts out of here. One that says, I'm just here for the fry sauce, and another that says, Johnny told me to say that. <laughs> How you doing? What's your name and what's your question? Oh, you should have saw her interview this morning. Um, I'm Max Braun. Hi, Max. Um, so, what's it like to know that you bring joy to children, um, young, old, and adults all over the world? Oh my gosh, I love you. Great question. <laughs> so, that is so, so sweet. So, I'm sorry, you make me cry, sorry. It's, it's, that's a blessing, and, and I just, to hear things like that, like we were saying earlier, when people come to our table and say that we change their lives, or they start crying, they make me cry, we're just crying boo-hooing with fry sauce. I just, I'm sorry, I'm gonna stop doing that, I'm gonna stop doing that. Stop You're not gonna stop doing that. She's not gonna stop doing that. No, it's a blessing. It's, it's, a blessing. it's humbling. Yeah. You know, I'm just, I'm grateful to be a part of it, really. Um, I'm, all, I'm definitely afraid of screwing up, <laughs> I'm like saying something it's wrong. Too late, or, too I know I, I screw up all the time, <laughs> but like really bad. <laughs> yeah, I, I think for me, it's uh, there's a, a very unique bond I think that we have with our fan base that I'm not sure if your show has that kind of bond. Like we have an attachment that closest to our fan base that it's like somehow they just they, both groups have just blended together, and, and uh, I think it's special. It's very unique. So I'm glad to be part of it. Yeah, you bring us a lot of joy too, though. Like. We, we really, we get so much out of, out of it. So thank you. Thank you. That's a great question. <laughs> How old are you? How old are you? I'm Oh my gosh. Nice. Oh, Air high five. Sure. <laughs> thank you for your question. Hey, how's it going? What's your name? What's your question? Hi, I'm Andrew. Um, it, this is an exclusive question for Johnny about his voice acting career. Um, you've been in recent Marvel projects as Iron Fist, and I'm wondering if you ever read the comics before you start the voice to get the feel of the character? Uh, well, I did my research. Um, I had actually done a few other uh, uh, roles as Iron Fist, or other games, and I did, and, and I, it was like a, I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about it, actually, I don't know if it's out yet. But there's, a, there's a couple other ones that I did as Iron Fist. Um, so I definitely researched it, but it was also one of those things where I looked up a long time ago, um, just trying to find like a character, a Marvel character that did Kung Fu, and, and then I found, I was like, Iron Fist, okay. So I was familiar with him a little bit, you know, and of course I watched, you know, the Netflix version. But, yeah, no, I was gonna say, I was gonna say it if you did, I was just gonna let you know. Yeah, just, was, I mean, 
There's certain things in there that bother me as a martial artist. Oh yeah, absolutely. And, and yeah, the fact that martial artists couldn't do martial arts that should bother. There's you. certain things that bother. And other me. things too bother. Yeah, so. but uh, but yeah. So I mean, I, I did did do some research. So I and so I was familiar with with the character for sure. And that, and I just just really excited to come back and and be him again, of course. Yeah, sure. Thank you for your question. How do you know? What's your name and what's your question? Hello, the name is Grayson. Grayson Dean Argyle. Um, nice to meet you. How do you become a cast like a... Wait, hold on. How I become cast like a Power Ranger? Just like a you. How do you become a Power Ranger? The originals answer that. No. Uh, well, the way I did it, um, I was studying Kung Fu, and my instructor saw in the newspaper that they were looking for new Power Rangers. And so there's this open cattle call, which is like, you know, they, just anyone could go show up to audition for this. And this was like a nationwide <laughs> search. And, you know, I was like, all right, yeah. My instructor said, you should give it a shot. And so I went and gave it a shot. That's all it was. It was showing up to an audition, basically. So if there's an audition, you know, just keep your eyes open for that and then go give it a shot. Um, and I'll tell you, see, I did show up. Now, there were friends of mine that told me, because uh, I grew up in Texas, and they are like, dude, those are people that live in, like, Hollywood land and all that, and they, those are the people that get to be on TV. So you, they're trying to, like, uh, yeah, they're just trying to be like, well, it was not, not negatively. I mean, it came across negatively, but it was, it was more just like, hey, come on, be real, get a real job, you know, that sort of thing. But I was so like, no, nah, this is what I want to do. I was passionate about it. And so... Yeah, so I went out and did it, and, and fortunately, I actually got the job. Um, but a couple months ago, I, I was at a con, and I met someone, and he said that he, would, he saw the ad for this audition as well, but he didn't go. Oh. Because he felt like, in his head, he told himself, uh, it'll never happen. So he never, <laughs> you know, he never tried, he never gave it a shot. You know, so I think inside, you, if you have that thought that tells you you can't do something or you can't be something, that's what's stopping you from ever becoming or doing anything. You know, so it's, it's that first thought that you have to remove, you know, and, and just think, I guess, positively and just hope for the best, you know. I love yeah. that, Johnny. Hey, so. Johnny, wow, who are you today? Who are you right now? Are we what? Start? What? Johnny, we're gonna start putting Johnny for motivational speaking. Yeah, like this, right? you, just, well, I, I, you know, the things in your mind, your thoughts are the things that can e either open or close your no, opportunity. It's so true. It, it is so true. Because you're going to hear a lot more no's than you are yes. But I, when people have asked me that question, I've said the same thing. You, you're never going to know until you try. I know that I was told the same thing when I was auditioning to get into UCLA. I had friends that were already there, not in the theater department, but it was the first year they opened up to incoming freshmen. And she was like, they're only going to accept 50 people, Nakia, you just shouldn't try. You just should like, literally told me, don't do it. And I was like, who are you? <laughs> who are you be? I'm kidding, sorry. That's not being motivating. Anyway, I went to the audition and I tried. And um, I love what Johnny said, but it's so true. You, you would, it doesn't matter what anybody says. All you need is that one yes. All you need is that one yes to open up doors. Yes. Thank you so much for your question. What's your name what's your question? My name's Mark. Hey, how's it going, Mark? How's it going, guys? Hi, Mark. So, I have a conspiratorial question for Catherine. Right. Ooh, ooh, I she did nervous. it. I think the earth is round. That's just my, I'm just going to go with that. <laughs> now, Catherine, this is in relation to a power that you had in the show, but we didn't exactly get confirmation as to whether it left you or not. But did you end up telling the other rangers that you were, in fact, the cat that they were petting in the show? Can you repeat the question? Because I was distracted by the He pet. said, basically, did you ever tell the other rangers that you were really a cat that they were petting in the show? Oh. <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden, I was always around that cat. The cat was gone. Yeah. No, I didn't. I think they, they figured it out, though, and uh, before I became the pink ranger. Meow. Meow. That's, what about the stupid uh, cat monster with the lingerie on? <laughs> do you remember that? I, I turned into a cat monster. Do you remember that episode? A ranger catastrophe, and I, it, was, it was actually a fox in the Sentai footage. The, the but... cat monster was a Victoria's Secret model. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> I didn't watch any of the episodes you were in. So. Thank you, Johnny. I wouldn't expect you to. <laughs> Shut up, Johnny. <laughs> Thank you for your question. 
<laughs> what's your name? What's your question? My name is Moises Isiano, and I have a question for all of you guys, all of them. Um, how are you guys um, blessed of what are working in the Power Rangers franchise, and, and how did it affect or respect the families implying to all your cast members, past, present, and future? Can you say that again a little bit slower? Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a fast speaker. Um, how, are you, how did you guys um, feel blessed on working on the Power Rangers franchise, and how did it affect um, your personal lives, um, as well as your, your other cast members, past, present, and future, in response to the whole entire timeline? How did you guys feel blessed working on Power Rangers, and how did it affect your personal lives, and as far as your other cast members' lives going forward, past, present, and future? Did I get you right? Yeah. It's allowed us to uh, take place in Comic-Cons. It's affected us that way. Um, there's uh, a huge Power Ranger fandom around the world, so we've got to travel around the world for Comic-Cons. With my family, um, I have two sons that um, sometimes take advantage of the fact that their mother was a Power Ranger, and they like to tell their friends. <laughs> uh, see, I was gonna say fry sauce. I wasn't. Anyway, anyways, um, but you did. I did, Johnny. Um, yeah. Go, Johnny. Oh, my turn. Okay, so uh, blessed. Yes, I, absolutely blessed to be a part of it. Um, uh, the other part. Let's see. Um, how did it affect family? Um, I don't know. I I feel like my family stayed sort of the same, you know, they, they didn't treat me differently. Um, I was always kind of the odd, oddball, I f feel like. Well, my brother too, but the boys, the boys were oddballs. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, no. <laughs> no. No, I mean, they, they, whenever I am near them, like, uh, in the past, they, they would show up at a Comic-Con and, and see what it's like, you know. I think if you ever go to a Comic-Con for your first time, it's a bit shocking, you know. So there's that sort of thing. You're like, what's going on? Why is everybody dressed up? Um, but uh, I don't know. They, I think my, I know my dad thinks it's really cool. Uh, my mom kind of is like, why are you, like my dad always watches, watches all the voiceover stuff. And she's like, she'll always complain. She's Korean. She's she'd always complain. He's, he's still watching those cartoons, you know. And I was like, all right, <laughs> Jason. Uh, you know what? It's funny. I, I tell people that since I got on the show, I don't think there's one part of my life that has been touched that involved Power Rangers. So other jobs that I've done, or relationships I formed, I think I talk to you guys as much as, as anybody. So like all these new friendships, um, you know, my mom and dad, everything's the same. They they get a lot of miles out of it. They love to brag about it. You know, it's their son. I'm their only son, so they they love to tell people. They love to brag about it. Um, I think my daughters have enjoyed it the most because they have gotten the chance to come out and meet um, some some. You know, I always tell them I'm a big deal, and they never believe it. They like these guys, <laughs> but they like it because they've gotten a chance to. You know, we the other day they met Jason Momoa, and they were really excited. so. So for them, I think they like the experience to to meet all these people they see on TV. And so for that, I, I kind of enjoy watching their excitement in it. So uh, for me, that's probably a big thing. Catherine? Um, it completely changed my life. I moved from Australia to America, so it was a huge culture change for me. Um, I left all of my family, all of my friends to come and join the show. And thank goodness, other than Johnny, um, everybody was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, yeah, and, it, and it's, as far as my family goes, they were very proud, obviously, because I got to come live my dream. Um, my children were not at all into Power Rangers, but all of a sudden, my daughter's in middle school and everybody all of a sudden figured out that I was a pink Power Ranger, so I think she's a little bit embarrassed, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> well, she, she, she just, they, they, they make a big deal, and she's, my daughter's very quiet, like, she doesn't your like mom. my attention. Right, and I'm, I'm dead. her mother, your so mom. she's a little bit like, oh my gosh, that person's asking me for your autograph, she gets all embarrassed. Um, and, I, and I got kind of a shock when I first went to the school and they noticed me, because they, they're kids, they're 13, and I, <laughs> I mean, I know I meet you guys at conventions and stuff, but you don't expect it in your own, right. you know, kid's life. <laughs> so that was kind of funny. Well, my kids so, ask for that, I go, I told you. I told you I'm very important. I'm very important. Now are you going to listen to me? 
my, my son actually has really gotten into anime and so he's always like, is Johnny gonna be there? Is Johnny, to ask Johnny, ask Johnny this, ask Johnny that. I'm like, you don't kill Johnny. <laughs> Thank you for your question. Unfortunately, that was the last question we have time for. Before I got by the way, um, by the way, um, fry sauce is made with ketchup and mayo. By the way. Oh, okay. okay. Wait, fry sauce with Thousand ketchup Island and mayo? Sauce. You fuse it's it together. You mix it like like you mix. Uh, Thousand Island. Oh, it's Thousand Island. Yeah. Ish. Ketchup and mayo. Ketchup. And that was the last we ever saw of Johnny Young Boss. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please, round of applause, make it loud. Thank you, guys.